Hello everyone! How are you today? I am your teacher Jem Raymond and today we will continue our discussion on your module 5 and we are now on the what I can do part of your module. Still, this is all about solving routine and non-routine problems using data presented in a pie graph. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raymond. My name is Mr. Jem Raymond Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. For your suggestions, especially on the topic for my next tutorial, please leave your comment below. Hope you learned something in my video lessons for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home and stay safe. Now, the monthly family's budget of Mr. Himungala is 18,500. It is presented in a pie graph on the right. So, you are given here a pie graph on the family budget of Mr. Himungala. All in all, he has a budget of 18,500. But then, it is not reflected here in the pie graph. What is reflected here in the pie graph is the percent only. So, if you want to know the act Actual amount intended for each budget, now you have to solve it. Uh, we will base our solution on the questions for this part of your module. Now, so transportation here class, transportation here is 25%, savings is 5%, clothing is 10%, education is 20%, and food here is 40%. Number one, how much is allotted for food? So again, percent ang ibinigay. So para malaman talaga natin kung ilan talaga or magkano talaga ang intended for the food based sa monthly budget of Mr. Hemungala na 18,500, we will we will solve it. So gagamitin natin yung 18,500, i-multiply natin sa 40%. But then yung 40% needs to be converted to decimal. Yung 40% natin ay equal to 0.4. Okay, 0.4. So, 4 times 0, yes, that's 0. 4 times 0, yes, that's another 0. 4 times 5 is, yes, that's 20. 0 carry 2. 4 times 8 is 32. Plus 2 is 34. 4 carry 3. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 3 is 7. So, we have 74,000. But then, hindi pa yung final answer natin kasi we will uh, put a decimal place value sa ating product kasi may isang decimal place value tayo dito sa ating factor. So, magiging 7,400 yung budget for food. Answer natin for item number 1 is 7,400 ang intended na expenses para sa kanilang pagkain. Ito yung final answer natin. Number two, how much does the family save in a month? So, magkano daw ang naipon ng family ni Mr. Himungala in one month? So, saan natin yan kukunin? Yes, itong savings class. No? So, same pa din sa ginawa natin. Sa number one, we will multiply 18,500 sa 5%. So, yung 5% may magiging 0 0.05 sa decimal. Right? Okay. So, 5 times 0 here is 0, of course. 5 times 0 is 0 again. 5 times 5 here is how much? Yes, that's 25. So, that's 5 carry 2. And then, 5 times 8 is 40. Plus 2 would be 42 carry 4. 5 times 1 is 5. Very good. Plus 4 would be 9. So, ilang play, decimal place value we have here in our factor? Yes, we have 2. So, maglalagay din tayo ng dalawang decimal place value dito sa ating uh, product. So, we have 1 and 2. So, meaning between sa 5 and 0 will be our decimal point. So, meaning... Ang naipon or ang nasave ng family ni Mr. Hermungala ay 925 pesos sa isang buwan. 
Ito yung final answer natin for number 2. Let's have number 3. What part of the budget has the biggest allocation? What is the least allocated? So, ano ang pinakamalaki at ang pinakamaliit na, may ba na budget ang inilaan ni Mr. Himungala based sa mga expenses na ito? Para masagutan natin ito, let's identify the biggest part of the circle graph. So, makikita natin itong part na to ang may pinakamalaking part or got the greatest slice of our uh, budget. Ito, Mr. Himungala, biggest allocation natin dito na answer is food. How about yung pinakamaliit? Yan, ito, no? Yung savings. So, yung least allocated na budget is savings. So, ito yung final answer natin sa number 3. No, no need to solve. Just refer sa pie graph, makukuha na natin yung sagot sa number 3. Number 4. If the monthly savings is added to the education budget, how much will it be? So, this time class, i-add natin muna yung dalawang portion na budget which is savings at saka yung education. Add natin yung percent. Yung sum nito class, yan yung gagamitin natin sa pag-multiply sa 8,500. Para mas clear sa inyo, let me show it to you. So, ito isang paraan class sa pag-solve ng ganitong problem. So, yung 20 natin, i-add natin sa 5%. Sana tinakuha yung 20. That's education and savings naman yung 5. So, 20 plus 5% would become 25%. So, yung 25% na yan class, ang gagamitin natin na factor for our uh, solution here. Yan. So, 0.25 yan. Yung 25%, Ang equivalent niyan ay 0.25. So, 5 times 0 is? Yes, that's 0. 5 times 0 is another 0. 5 times 5 is 25. So, that's 5 carry 2. So, 5 times 8 is 40. Plus 2 would be? Yes, 42 carry 4. 5 times 1 is 5. And plus 4 is 9. So, 2 times 0 is 0. And then 2 times 0 is another 0. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry 1. 2 times 8 is 16 plus 1, 17. So carry 1. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So add natin. We have 0, bring down. 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 0 is 2 plus 0 is 2. And then 9 plus 7 is, of course, that's 16, carry 1. And then 1 plus 3 would become 4. So, maglalagay tayo ng dalawang decimal place value dito kasi may dalawang decimal place tayo dito sa ating factor. Okay, yan. So, meaning, yung savings at saka yung education, i-add mo yan, magiging 4,625 pesos all in all. So, ito na yung final answer natin for number 4. Number 5. How much more budget is allocated in transportation expenses than on the education budget? So, take note class, meron na naman tayong word dito na than at saka more or more than. So, we are comparing another two uh, set of family budget which is transportation at saka yung education. Ang gagawin natin, isasubtract natin. Pero, uh, this time, hindi natin isasubtract yung savings. No? So, we, I will be presenting to you another option in solving this problem, which is we have to solve separately yung budget at saka yung transportation. And after that, you subtract the, uh, the products. Okay, para mas clear sa inyo, let me show it to you. So, yung transportation natin class, of course, 8,500 ang total na budget. I-multiply natin sa transportation which is 25%. So, yung 25% can be written as 0.25. Now, diba? So, 5 times 0 ay magiging 0 yan. 5 times 0 would be 0 na naman. 5 times 5 would be 25 carry 2. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 2 would be 42, carry 4. And then 5 times 1 would be 5, plus 4 would be 9. So, 925 na. Pero, another, we have 2. 2 times 0 here is 0. 
So we have 2 times 0, another 0. 2 times 5 is 10, carry 1. So 2 times 8 is 16 plus 1 would be 17, carry 1. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 would become 3. Okay, so you add natin yan class. We have 0, 0, 5, 2. We have 9 plus 7 is 16 plus 1. That's 1 plus 3 would be 4, 6, 2, 5, 0, 0. So, dalawang decimal place value dito. May dalawang decimal place din tayong ilalagay dito. So, magiging 4,625. Yung transportation pa. Let's solve the education. Na-solve na natin ito actually kanina. So, 18,500. That's 0.2 because education is 20%. And 20% could be written as 0.2 also. So, let's solve. So, 2 times 0 here is 0. 2 times 0 is another 0. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry 1. 2 times 8 is 16 plus 1 is 17. So, carry 1. So, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 would be 3. So, 1 decimal place value. Isang decimal place value din ang ilalagay natin dito. Yan. So, 3,700 na. So, pagkatapos, itong answer natin ito, yung product na to, at saka yung product na to, i-subtract natin. Yan, yung 4,625 minus 3,700. So, 5 minus 0 is 5. 2 minus 0 is 0. O, 2 I mean. And then, 6, borrow tayo. This becomes 3. And this, this will become 16. 16 minus 7 is? Yes, it's 9. So, meaning, yung answer natin for number 5 is 925 pesos. Mas malaki ng 925 pesos ang budget ng transportation kaysa sa education. So, that is our final answer for number 5. Now, this time class, let's have the assessment. But, ikaw na muna yung sasagot sa part na to, pati sa additional activities. May separate video lesson ako para i-present yung mga answers for this part of your module. Pero for the meantime, ikaw na muna yung sasagot. In any piece of paper, you can write your answer for this part. Okay? So I'll give you time to answer this part and your time starts now. If you want to know if your answers are correct or not, you may click this link above para malaman mo yung mga tamang sagot for the assessment and additional activities part ng module mo. Okay? That's all for today class. See you next time. Keep safe everyone!